Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adam Turner Road to the Show series, episode 225. It's been a while since we played Adam, uh, but there's one thing I definitely want to do before uh, the big PS5 release of MLB 21, and that is finish the 2023 season at least. And uh, that requires about three more months of uh, gameplay because we have the end of July, we have all of August. Uh, all of September, one game in October, and this team is 73 and 29, so we are guaranteed a divisional round um, if we can hold this lead in the AL East, which, I mean, we're 20 games in front of the Yankees right now. It's not really too close. We are absolutely killing it as a team, and uh, since it's been a while, why don't we give a little up update on Adam's statistics and his stats. He is an exceptional hitter um, with, with a Big emphasis on contact. He's a good bunter. He's got good vision. Getting the discipline there. Clutch. He's been very clutch in his career, actually. Um, his fielding is his best, you know, side of him. Uh, that paired with his speed and his base stealing ability, he becomes a whole animal on the field, uh, winning, I think, three gold gloves in a row. No, four. Ooh, we won this one, this one, this one. We're looking for four this year. Um... This year, taking a load off the power, that's really because we went to Hall of Fame difficulty. Uh, but the on-base percentage is up to 321, and uh, we're stealing more bases. We're at 62, two-thirds of the way through the year. We do have three more years of arbitration. We've got two years on our contract left with Tampa Bay, but I see no reason of le leaving the Rays right now. And uh, let's check out this team and why they're so dominant. First off, Snell and Tyon are your one-two punch. That is two Cy Young candidates already. One's 11-0, one's 12-4. Then you have Clove, who's 12-3 with a 2.77 ERA. Yarbrough, 2.33. And Nesbitt, 2.39. I mean, that is incredible. The highest is 2.77 for Mike Clevenger. Uh, the pin, Jake Free is our long relief. Pretty good for a long relief. Stanek, Castillo, and Thomas, especially Thomas. He's been so good this year. Um, but I trust all three of these guys out of the pen. Honestly, our worst pitchers have been Rosenthal and Alvarado, our setup men, and even they have been pretty good for the most part. Brooke Valentin is our closer right now. He has been really good. He's in the running for a reliever of the year. He's got 33 saves and only two blown um, and a 1.62 ERA. He's an A potential 84 overall, 24 years of age. So that's really, uh, the pitching staff carries us big time through the, has carried us big time through the year, but it's no, the hitting is no slouch. Hitting leadoff, Joey Wendell, nearly a 300 hitter. Orlando Arcia hits second, uh, very good hitting shortstop. You don't find many of those. He's, he's very good for us. We hit third, 343, 15 homers, 60 RBIs, and then Josh Bell has been raking this year. 24 homers, 84 RBIs, two-thirds of the way through the year. He's in the talks for Silver Slugger and MVP. Colin Moran hits fifth. He's a new pickup. He's pretty good. Jose Martinez is our DH, and although the 239 doesn't look great, he's been on a hot streak as of late. He's been hitting really well lately. Um getting his numbers back up. Osayo Garcia crushes lefties and hits seventh. The young and uh, very promising Tim Washington hits eighth. And then Blake Swihart hits ninth. This is the lineup. And we have the New York Yankees today at home. Um, did we already check the standings? Let's see where the Yankees stand in uh, terms of other teams. They're, the rest of this division is just not very strong. Um, right now and the Rays are and that's just uh how it is Yankees do hold a wild card spot right now only four games over 500 so let's get into this could get our contact up even more could go with our caps gotta re uh introduce myself into a lot of this stuff remember what's going on Ooh, the durability needs a lot of work I remember that now um, let's go with durability and clutch. I think that should that should be a priority to get durability up. Definitely don't want to go down. If you haven't watched the Max series, uh, we've seen it happen. So it can happen. All right, let's get into this. 
We are in 2023 here. The career stats moving to Hall of Fame difficulty definitely changed things a good bit. We're uh, definitely not hitting for as much power, but we're going back to the more uh, noticeable, or not noticeable, the Adam Turner we know. All right, let's get into this. Two series today, hopefully. Let's go. Good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Mike Clevenger, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? All right, here we go. Gloves on the mound for us. We're rocking with the light blue jerseys. Up the middle, and they will have a single to start the game. Should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. Hey, that's why this guy's in the leadoff. That's Tim Anderson, isn't it? All right, they score. And Robert Collier is on the mound. This dude's filthy and unrealistic. And because he slides step, you don't get to see it. But this guy throws Summerine. Um, a little closer to the sidearm, actually. And 99. Yeah, <laughs> that's terrifying. Let's check the difficulty, make sure everything's good. Yeah, Paul of Fame and Legend. If Adam ever got in the game to pitch. I don't know if it comes from a veteran where the manager decides to close I believe that's Wendell on first. Has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game. 2-0. Oh. And they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. Fouled away. We take a cut. Fouled off. We were late. I did not think we were late. Now the 2-1. Runner goes for second. Misses the spot and we'll take that. Wendell into scoring position. In order to get that run back, they give up on the top of the first. I like that, especially early in the game. So we'll see if they can drive him in now. Trying to set up my monitor. If you can hear me moving around. 3 2. Late on a couple fastballs. And we're late on that one too, but we got a piece of it. We're working Collier. His seventh pitch of the at bat incoming. And he walks us. Sweep or the 12 6 misses. Now you bring up Josh Bell. Who else for an RBI opportunity? Let's go, Josh. Up the middle. That's trouble, and that's a double play. Well turned. And we won't put anything on the board in the first. Stepping up now, Kyle Higashioka. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. Sent in the oh, duh, we got it. Central. Turner is there now, and he has it. We get it in quickly. Gold Glover. So now it'll be They've got a couple on, and Aaron Hicks on second. I'm going to come in a little bit in case this is a shot up the middle. It's not. It's going to be flown out to Garcia. Nobody will move up. One down. And we got out of it. And we lead off the fourth here. Good 12-6. Got the top of the zone. Did not go. One one. And the splitter misses also. So we have a 2-1 count now. Is the first thing that jumps off the page. Do not take the extra base. And Collier is not looking to go to us this at bat very well. And we swing and we ground it out. A little early on that one was a good one to hit. One to jump on it. But we ground out. Now at the plate, Adam Turner. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim I think that's Velez. On first, and it'll be a strike. It's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor made to even have a chance to get him at first. Not going to lay one down right now. Yeah, not when he's pitching out. He's worried about Velez moving. Velez does have some decent speed. And 
And that's way high. And now would be a good time for him to go. Ooh. He was thinking about it. He took an extra lead. But so is Collier. Collier is all over it. He thinks he's going, really. A lot. And that misses inside. 3-1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. A full count and he does go in the strike zone here. So 3-2. We gotta come through. Working for the punch out and the And he goes way too high, and he's put one in scoring position for Josh Bell. Hey, no double play here, Josh. That is shot down the line. It's going to tie this one up. We're going to stay. No, we're going home. It's going to be close to the plate. We come around and we're in. That's the speed of Adam Turner on full display. And we take the lead. That ball was roped. We got a good jump. And usually no one ever scores off those. We were headed home. We take the outside the line slide. And even if that was a perfect throw... It would have been really close, but a very good looking slide. And the Rays take the lead. Rosenthal in for the hold. That's shot into right. Garcia has it. Two down. We'll get one more bat. We've walked twice and grounded out once, and they'll stick with the lefty on the mound. That's hit well. Chasing is the goal over Hicks. He's going to have it. No, it's going to be off the wall. Doesn't field it incredibly well. And we'll take our stand-up triple to start the eighth. Seventh triple of our season. We don't have as many as we normally do. And Bell just needs to put this one in the air. 2-1. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. We usually don't hit great against lefties. That felt good. He's behind and now, three and one. pure hitters and count for Bell. Have a left up and in the bullpen. I believe that is Garcia on deck. Ah. He's most two likely hitting fifth because go. of the lefty. 3 2 to Bell. Just put it in play. Don't strike out. That is going to do the job. And we are coming home, and we will easily be in there. And we've scored two runs today. It's 3-1 Tampa Bay. And we get the save and the win for Valentin. Well done, guys. Robert Collier pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Brooke Valentin closes the door for the save, his 34th. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa. Dan All right, we'll take that for our first win of the episode, and we've got some more games to be played. Clevenger with a really good day on the mound. Collier, six and two earned, not bad, but he got the loss. And the save goes to Brooke Valentine, or Valentin, once again. We'll take that game out of Adam every day. It's pretty good. And uh, against a lefty, we'll take that every time. We've got Ryan Yarbrough on the mound. And Domingo Herman is the Yankees. But ooh, we pop out. Looks like uh, Villette, Diaz might have hit a homer or Wendell. Hit a homer and then Diaz back to back. But we fly out hanging, but uh, couldn't get a good piece of it. Right, we got to get something in here. Base hit. Did not go. Filthy curveball. Just a little early on it. Tried to turn on it. And a filthy curveball back door. 
Scaling up me with three straight curveballs. We're sitting fastball and just got knee buckle. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Good curveball. Got us. <sighs> and it's tied at two. Riding in once again, Aaron Hicks. Over two for him to this point. Lifted in the air. Popped up, we have it. The two down. Okay. Diaz on first. That misses. Alright, one down. Person on first. If we could get this... Uh... Wait, we just need to get on base to move him over. Give Bell an opportunity, but we're going to swing here at anything looking good. That is not it. 3 0. We'll take all the way here. Herman's uh, pitch count's actually pretty low, so we need to lay off a couple. All right, now it's time to swing. And we got a piece of it. It's into right center and caught. Just early. Shoot. We are up 4 3. Chance Adams on the mound. And we pop it out. 0 for 4 today. That's awesome. Love to see it. Well, we are winning. Can we hold? And we do. That was a very quick game. Yanti Diaz, player of the game. Valentin, the save. Yarbrough, the win. Herman, the loss. And we'll take it. Play vision up. And sweeping the Yankees here. And, oh, we sat this game. And we won again. 7-6. Chapman got the loss. Valentin, his third straight save. And Rosenthal gets the win. And yeah, we sat that last game. We pinch ran, but not really, I guess. I don't know. I do have base running opportunities on, right? Yeah, I do. Hmm, strange. But that's a sweep of the Yankees, which is always a nice thing to see. And we have Philadelphia in a two-game, in a two-gamer, and that's going to end our episode right there. So let's go ahead and do this. They're 53 and 52. Right around 500. We could go with the fielding. Base running aggressiveness. We're already 99. Uh, there's no need for... Actually, I'm going to do power. Hit the ball harder. 67 and 51. Let's go. An all-star player is encouraged to continue... Plate vision and contact. Snell versus Pavetta. Uh, this team we're facing is actually pretty good with Harper, Hoskins. Uh, nobody in the 70s. Neither do we, but, you know. We have our 97 overall pitcher on the mound, Blake Snell. He's undefeated right now. Let's uh, keep him like that, hopefully. We're 76 and 29. Holy cow. Snell's going to get to hit this game. That's exciting. <laughs> But yeah, Snell just over 100 innings. He did have an injury earlier in the year. That's why he's only at 100. But let's get him his 12th win here. Okay, runner on second. And that misses inside. Wait, no, they're 61 and 54. Hmm. Good pitch. Short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. One-one. And now it's two-one. Inches below the zone, in fact. The two-one home. Filthy slider back door. Two-two. <laughs> His two strikes to us have been very good pitches. So now we got to protect. And, this ball and that 
Well, it's not the one to protect against. Good play, Segura. If our guy would have ran out of the box, it would have been closer. Knuckle curve. That's just filthy. <laughs> One one now. Still zero zero on top of the third. That is roped out to right. Harper chases and has it. Hit the ball hard. Just right at him. Sometimes that's just how it goes. We only have one hit on the episode. <laughs> Up the middle. That's a base hit. And that was their first hit of the game. Hey, I'm not Coming from Nick Pavetta, wasn't it? <laughs> what a way to lose your early no-hitter than to the pitcher. Pops up, Wendell chases, he has it. And that'll end the third, still tied 0-0. Zero, zero. And the bases are loaded. Okay, this is our chance. Up the middle, and that will score one, maybe two. He's on his way. He'll easily score. And it's 2 nothing Tampa Bay off the RBI, two RBI single by Adam Turner. Let's go. And that'll do it for Pavetta's day, and they'll bring in Daniel De Los Santos, who's had a tough year so far. Let's see a Josh. That's on the ground. Good play by Hoskins, and De Los Santos will get out of it with a quick double play. Fair enough. Harper versus Snell now. Up the middle. That's going to be down. We'll get it into third. And two down, two on. But they do not score. Victor Urano is now on the mound. Or one for three today after that RBI single. And that misses. Victor Urano is 5-0. and oh. Jeez. But a 4 on ERA. Wow, we actually timed that decently, but okay. Just to pop up. Up 4 1 now. This is Valentin territory. Now we will try to get. Oh my gosh! Late on that one, popped it up, and we're 1 for 5. But we did have two RBIs today. So we did something at least. And we're up 7 1, so no need for Brook. Probably good to give him another day's rest. Deep right center. And we chase and have it. Thomas Pannon. I still don't know how to pronounce it, but he's had such a good year. And he will give up a hit here before this one's over. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0-2, he's able to work. And there it is. We win. Well done. Blake Snell with the win. And we will move on to our last game of the episode. Uh, yeah, probably the last game of the episode. We could go into the Yankee series, but I'd rather just uh, kill it at, what is it, five games on the episode? Yeah. Zach Eflin on the mound. Down the line, and we will take it to start us off here. Two down. We're going to try for two. And it'll work out a double with two down with two down here in the first. Our 27th of the year. And a good way to start today after a tough last game. We did have two RBIs. I mean, look at it how you want. 200 average, not good. Two RBIs. Good. And that's going to be caught. So, Eflin will get out of it. And they put up a run. Tyon on the mound for us today. 
against Jamison Tyone. He's picked up 14 hits in six to right. And Garcia has it. Strike 17 times. Why did he throw it so hard at his shins? So one gone here in the Philadelphia third, and that'll bring in a perennial big stadium out atmosphere out here. It's packed here to watch the Rays play. I doubt that's why they're here. We're gonna throw to the cut just in case. He's getting third no matter what. And they don't put anything else on the board. So on the in the fourth with no outs. Ah. We ground out. Looked like a good one, so we took a cut at it. We ground out. Standing in, we do tie it up. Popped up. And we're not going to get there in time. Lead off single for Herrera. And we are in a good situation here. Who's on? Arcia. He's not the fastest. Filthy slider, but we'll not get the call. Need this RBI. Oh my goodness gracious. Good timing. I don't know. Uh, one down. Feels like we should have crushed that. They have a couple on and 76 speed. We'll come in a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't gap this thing. Oh, he's going to go deep center. But we have it. End of the seventh, still tied at one. Come on, we need, we need to get somebody in. All right. Ranger Suarez on the mound. I have an idea. That's a going to be really good. We're going to be on. Get the second. Yes, sir. So it was a sacrifice, and it ended up working out to where we both got on. And Jorge Velez will pinch run it. Second for our Arcia for some more speed. All right, Josh. On the ground, foul. All right, 2-2. Two, two. None of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major. Bell cannot put it in play at least, so we move on to who's been on fire today, and that is Colin Moran. Two for three. He's got a solo shot and a single. Lefty on lefty. One two count. Come on, Colin. Ball two. Thirty-nine thousand at Citizens Bank. Here's the two and two. Hit to first. On the ground. And Hoskins has it. Nothing going on this inning for the Rays. We'll see what happens here. Who do we put on the mound? Thomas. Okay. I like it. But that's deep right center. And it's gone. 2 1 lead for Philly now, and we will lose this one. So we will not go undefeated on the episode, and that's unfortunate and all, but it is what it is, and it's okay. Um, yeah, so going into the last two months of the year, not an awful episode. We didn't hit amazing. We were 343 going into it. Let's see where we are now. 340. So we didn't go down that much. Did get a couple RBIs, a couple walks. Didn't steal a base. Didn't get a chance to. Having frame rate issues for some reason. Um, but we still hold a now 22 and a half game lead over the Yankees. Uh, and the Phillies are 62 and 45. Wow. It's a weird division. The rest of the teams are just about even except for the Marlins. They suck. Um, and the rest of those teams are trying to get a wild card spot. They're all in the wild card race. Okay. So let's see where the Yankees are now. We got to, I want to knock them out of contention because I hate the Yankees. I'd rather play anybody else. <laughs>
Um, but if you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That is Adam Turner, episode 225 in the book.